What causes slip disc? One of the most common causes of slip disc that I see now is essentially poor posture during work, constantly on your handphones looking down. Most people use handphones for work, for, for social media, for games, and they sustain that posture for hours on end. You're going to be forcing your neck towards a downward posture. And prolonged sustained downward posture will cause this to slip back and start to impinge on the nerves that come out from the back. The spine has a lordotic alignment, which means that it curves like a C backwards. The disc sits between the two bones and in a perfect alignment, they all function normally. Now, when we force our spine in a forward alignment for prolonged periods of time because of sitting posture, because of working posture, now what happens is that the disc is now pressured more towards the back. And that's where the nerves and the spinal cord is. So sustain prolonged posture when working with a laptop, looking down or with a handphone, that will definitely cause slip disc to occur in a matter of time. Age plays a factor, but not the most important factor. You know? With age, there is normal regression of disc elements. When we are young, our disc material, our ligaments are strong. But as we grow old, they tend to become a little bit dehydrated. They tend to become a bit weaker. So as you get older, you may uh, develop slip disc. But age alone is not a main factor as to why patients get slip disc. I'm seeing a lot of patients who develop slip disc at a younger age now. And that is essentially because of their posture, you know, not just at work, but the posture that maintain when they walk. Some people enjoy doing work lying down in your bed, the laptops and the chest. So that itself will create a very poor posture. And when you sustain that posture for hours on end, you will definitely get a slip disc because you're putting your spine to stresses that is not designed to carry. You know? Certain sporting activities may also cause slip disc. Lifting heavy loads without proper posture, without proper core strength will result in slip disc. So I have a lot of patients who have lifted heavy weights and unfortunately they look slip disc when they try to push more. Mm -hmm. Trauma, of course, is one of the more common causes of slip disc. Slip disc occur in what is known as whiplash injuries. So you're driving and you've got your seat belt across you and unfortunately someone comes and hits your car from the back and then your head goes flying. So your head bends forward and hits backwards. That's violent movement of your head and neck in a very short period of time results in what we call as a whiplash injury. The stress essentially is put mostly on the disc, will result in ligament tear and unfortunately slip disc. That is another common cause of slip disc in patients who have suffered an unfortunate whiplash injury in a car accident.